Beautiful people, welcome back to yet another episode of the Ignite Your Purpose podcast show vlog. You know what it is, people. Daily we talk in longevity through healthy lifestyle. That means we talk about a mix of the mental, that physical, and that spiritual knowledge, that mind, body, soul trifecta. Um, that means everything we put into our bodies, people, from what we eat to who we associate with to what we watch to what we read, all that jazz. And every day we simply try to be better than we were yesterday. And we go from that negative state of mind to that positive state of mind, those negative vibrations to those positive vibrations. I'm talking facts, been doing this for a hot, hot minute. Uh, it's the only reason I'm spitting this out is because uh, in the last six months, it has become evidently clear that the blessings that I've been taught um, by the teacher I've been being and still am taught by um, is just second to none. There's so many blind leading the blind. There's so many trustafarians. There's so many um, fake messiahs. There's so many people who have taken a weekend course one time back in 1982, you know, and they're and they're teaching some watered down bullshit to others. So you have lost souls teaching lost souls. Um, and one thing I've definitely realized 100% in the last year now is that no matter where I go, I feel that I am a grounded energy. Hence, doing the show, trying to spit, you know, that straight down the middle, no bullshit, look at both sides, don't judge, understand, and move on type deal, right? Now, today, here we go again. Um, it's There's a lot of things in the news, and one of the, I don't want to call him a student, but. Uh, um, an underling, somebody I'm uh, helping out in life, I guess you could say, one of the gentlemen in in one of my classes type thing that I'm helping out in life, Um, sorry, moving some notes around there, Uh, came up to me with a bunch of different things he'd seen today. And again, I always tell you, I'm not big time into, you know, watching the news and all that. However, I do keep my ear to the ground. I keep my finger on the pulse, meaning there are things I go in and out of. I don't want to sit there and watch 24 hours of, you know, Russia this and Trump that and you know it's all negativity I I don't really feel that that does anything for me personally this gentleman however was right into it and he came to me today with a couple different um, I guess you'd say sound bites news clips and you know I'm gonna say something I'm gonna say something and I don't really want to be in the middle here but I want to talk about us as people who are still on a plantation people who are still in the matrix All right, he came to me, um, the younger gentleman, all right? Now, if we all understand as anybody who flips on the news and, you know, these generational talks, you know, there's the baby boomers who are this, there's the X gen, there's the XYZ gen, there's the millennial gen, and now there's this new gen, whatever the hell they're called, you know, and they all have stereotypes, all right? Now, this guy's, I think, 25, 26, so he'd be in that, that millennial generation, and we know that these new generations coming up don't have the same, um worth ethic all these things whether that's important or not who cares but what was said to me was this amazon bots amabots they're called all right so you work at amazon and i think if i didn't read this correctly and what he showed me now hopefully it was an actual true document which it looked like so okay cool I'll, i'll go with it 80 hour work weeks just to keep your job 85 to be considered for promotion, 90 hour work weeks to be considered for raise and work promotion uh, into management, I believe. I could be butchering that a little bit, but, you know, give me give me 80% correctness on that, okay? How, when this kid's talking to me about still living at home, hasn't even had a job yet, right? And then how do you go into the workforce with that? All right. Are we in the matrix? What are we being taught? Are we being brought up to live in our parents' house? Do you, do you see what I'm saying? I'm trying to get deep down on this. I'm trying to open eyes. And we could go both ways on that. Maybe they're not. Maybe there's a whole new thing I'm missing there. But, you know, if you want to go, and again, I'm an entrepreneur. So if I want to go and put those kind of hours in, damn well better be for myself. All right. That's all I can say. Next thing. We talk about he brought up. There's an election in Canada right now, and there's you know, and there's actually one coming up in the states too, right? Not currently, but there will be one in 2020. And you're seeing the sound bites. You're seeing the the political gestures, gestures, joxings. Um, and he showed me a bunch of clips. And again, I don't understand how people don't see this. That we are 
We are in the Matrix, people. We are Slave Landia almost, all right? The, the soundbite was from 2014 when this guy was running, said, I am against this. 2019, he is for this, all to get our votes. All right, I, I talked about this people all the time. How do you feel that there should be a royalty class when it's us who go and earn the money to pay the taxes to let them be royalty? You see what I'm saying? It's, it's these things where, you know, these politicians, man, they play the game well. You know, they know what time it is. They, they are, they don't work. And I don't mean that as if they don't do anything, but they don't physically work like most of us blue collar, white collar people do going in, rolling up the sleeves, getting the elbow grease, getting it dirty and collecting a paycheck. No, they live off our taxation. They live off of our donations. And this young gentleman coming up to me was like, I'm giving this guy my vote. And he was the one that showed me both those clips completely glazed over that area. And I'm just dumbfounded. Like, again, going back to the matrix, are we being programmed? Are we being not taught something? Are we being dumbed down? Why is it that we in a politically correct world right now, which wasn't five years ago, do we do we agree with if somebody's in favor of whatever the hot topic of politically correct is right now? Just a thought, just a thought, just a thought. On top of that, he showed me, and I kid you not, this kid was 100% in agreement with this. I thought it was a joke. All right, you guys could, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You guys could look it up yourself because it's going to be trending, I'm sure. Um, there was a... In New York City, there was a, a debate, or actually, a, a what would you call it, a workshop put on by AOC, who's one of the Senate members out of New York, right? And a lady stood up and was talking about how we need to start eating our own youth to save the planet, all right? And, like, let that sit in. This, this is... This is a fact. This is what she was saying. I think it was a joke. I think she was like ploying on them, but she was saying it's already been passed in the U in the UK that um, the elderly should be burned and used as fertilizer. Man, I don't even know what's going on. I like I said, I don't get that deep into it. But she was spitting off all these facts, and the people were just like, "Yep, cool," nodding their heads. Some of them, obviously, when you say we should we should eat babies, were a little twisted. Um, but again, all that was skipped over, and this guy, this kid, this adult. 26, 27, 25 years old, right? This adult said to me, we need to be doing more for the environment, just like this lady says. And these things scare me. Are we on a plantation? Are we in the matrix? And are we being dumbed down? When these separate topics, we, we and all of us are guilty of this. I'm not just blaming, you know, putting this on him because we all tend to, you know, skew our views. You know, yeah, I disagree with that or I agree with that. And then we give our powers away to these politicians and let them make all these crazy decisions based upon lies they tend to feed us. Not all, not all the time, but a good majority of it. And I think, again, I say this all the, from the beginning, I said this. We need these grounded energies, people. We need we need these open minds. We need these open conversations for debate um, to to spread love. We need more love. We need more compassion so that there is a better understanding between all generations, between all humans, um, from the poorest of poor to the richest of rich, so that we can come up as a society, as a, as a, as a species, and do the right thing. Do your research, people. Do your own research. Don't take these sound bites like this gentleman presented to me today and then skipped over the stuff that was too bad to, you know, to, what's the word I'm looking for, to even comprehend and then agree with, you know, the three or four points that, you know, they, their belief is also in drained in, right? Okay, beautiful people. I hope that resonated somewhat with you. You are the power. It's within you. Stop giving it away. Stop listening to the sound bites. Do your own research. Put in the time. Put in the time to heal yourself. Put in the time to educate yourself. That's where it stops. That's where it starts. Peace. You know what? We will talk to you tomorrow. You know how we do. Love you all. Thank you for the support. Talk to you soon.